Ryan Tannehill shit away that game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Three interceptions. They were pulverizing Joe Burrow. Nine official sacks, 11 technically if you count two sacks that took place on dead plays. I think one was a delay of game. I think another one might have been a false start. They were brutalizing him all game, and they still lost. And in his first year without Arthur Smith, now the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, we saw that Ryan Tannehill was not quite as good as he used to be. Is that saying he is a bad quarterback? No. But you know he was the one thing holding you back last year if you're Tennessee. And they should have known that because at the Texans-Titans regular season finale, your boy was heckling the Titans bench saying, everyone knows you're the only thing holding your team back. It's you, Ryan. It's you. Classic Aggie. Sorry to all the Aggies out there, but I mean, he's a wide receiver. Probably should, you know, go back to that. See what happens. I'm just kidding at this point in time. But it would have been funny if we all actually, you know, to get a little bit of consistency from Bill Polian, who wanted Lamar Jackson to switch to wide receiver, if he asked for Ryan Tannehill to go back to wide receiver. I would have liked it, whatever the case. The Titans can clearly do better than Ryan Tannehill. They still could do better. I would take Baker Mayfield over Ryan Tannehill. I feel like you could maybe point it last year in the injury that he was playing through, which was a shoulder to his, an injury to his non-throwing shoulder. I feel like you could point at Baker Mayfield and say, okay, give him A.J. Brown. Maybe Robert Wood's now aboard. Maybe it'll be different this coming season for Baker with a great running game behind him. He was in a pretty good situation in Cleveland when it comes to the running game, too, with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. But maybe Baker Mayfield would give you more than Ryan Tannehill because you know what you're getting with Tannehill. You have reached the ceiling, and now the ceiling is starting to crumble. So why didn't Tennessee go after anybody? And let's just go through a list of quarterbacks across the NFL. Let's go from the top of the standings to the bottom. Is this team working with a better quarterback than Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill? Packers, duh. Buccaneers, duh. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. The Titans, who were 12-5 and last year. Thank you for correcting me, NFL.com. Obviously have Tannehill. I mean, third... Best team in the NFL record-wise. Yeah, not bad with Ryan Tannehill, but again, he's holding you back clearly in a conference that has as many good quarterbacks as it does. Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, duh. Dak Prescott, Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, he's better. Matt Stafford, Los Angeles Rams, better. Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills, better. Kyler Murray, Arizona Cardinals, better. Joe Burrow, Cincinnati Bengals, better. Derek Carr, Las Vegas Raiders, better. Mac Jones, New England Patriots, eh, maybe. You would expect it by the end of this coming season that Mac Jones will be better definitively than Ryan Tannehill. Jimmy Garoppolo, San Francisco 49ers. That's a tough one. I'm going to say that they're even. Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> uh, Mitchell Trubisky. <laughs> Congratulations, we finally found a team that has a worse quarterback situation with a winning record last year than the Tennessee Titans. Jalen Hurts, I think there's an argument to be made for Ryan Tannehill over Jalen Hurts as a passer, but Jalen Hurts as a guy that I think his teammates have belief in, I think for right now, they're winning there. Matt Ryan and the Colts, better. Jameis Winston and the Saints, I would say slightly better. But slightly, very slightly, and it really depends on what you want. Tannehill's a very good game manager. In the past, he did not turn the football over. Jameis Winston loves to turn the football over. Tua Tagovailoa in Miami. Uh, Tannehill's better than Tua Tagovailoa, at least as things currently stand. Justin Herbert, Herbert's better. Kirk Cousins, Cousins is better. Baker Mayfield, there's an argument to be made on either side. As I said before, Lamar Jackson, obviously better. And then we get to the bottom of the league and we're talking about the Commanders and Carson Wentz and the Seahawks and Drew Locke, the Falcons. Jeez, Marcus Mariota. He's a starting quarterback again. And that's where things get a little bit worse. But Russell Wilson's better. And we continue to go down the list. Uh, Tannehill's better than Justin Fields. The Panthers' QB situation sucks. So do the Jets, the Giants, the Texans, the Lions. And Trevor Lawrence, uh, you can argue that Tr Ryan Tannehill is better than Trevor Lawrence as things currently stand right now. But the Titans stood pat at quarterback. Oh, let's look at the conference quarterbacks again. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Derek Carr, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, 
Lamar Jackson. Did I say Justin Herbert? There are so many better quarterbacks in the AFC than Ryan Tannehill. So why the fuck didn't the Titans get one? Here I am, caping for Titans fans out there. You poor persecuted people that are stuck with Ryan Tannehill as your quarterback. He is holding you back. He's not terrible. He's not bad. He's average to above average. But why did you decide to stand pat here? You had an opportunity in front of you. You saw quarterback musical chairs taking place, and you did nothing. I don't get it. Do you really feel like it's going to be a different result next year? The best that you did was getting to the AFC Championship game with Derrick Henry helping you in that first round of the playoffs against New England, second round of the playoffs against the Ravens, but you went up against the Chiefs. What firepower was Ryan Tannehill giving you over the course of that game? He was not giving you nearly enough. You have been as far as you will go with Ryan Tannehill. It was to the AFC Championship game. It deserves a lot of credit. That was really hard to do. But you're just standing pat at quarterback and wasting everybody's time next year. 